Hello everyone, this is Mark Bat here. I'm here to give a little video presentation on a question I was asked about a really cool piece of audio software. It's called FM Drive and it emulates the Sega Genesis FM sound chip, the YM2612. So the question I got was how do I load the 33,000 samples and the samples this one particular musician was referring to are TFI files. They are original instrument presets and these are given away on Ali James website for FM Drive. You can catch the link in in the text with with this post for the video and they are presets from virtually every game that ever came out for the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive in Japan or Europe. Um, so she wanted to know how to use those. So the first step right here, I'm in my little digital audio workstation and I go to my VSTI plugin for FM Drive and here it is, the main interface, the main screen, the default screen. So let's, if I want to load a TFI file you click on this button right here and then you click on open right here where you see the Genesis controller and it automatically took me to the directory for the last one I was on it does not matter where you store the TFI files um, you can have it on your desktop or in any directory I have it in my sounds and samples folder and I'm in the games ROM bank here I went to Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and now I want to find one of the instruments for that. So I'll double click on this and I'll load that. Yeah, sometimes you have to click that white button for load after you open it, by the way, in case you have any trouble. So it should be set. So we click on the window and now we should play it. That's that's an original instrument from an actual Sega Genesis game, by the way. I don't like that sound. Let's try another one. That's a cool sound. Let's hear that a little louder. Alrighty. There we go. That's all there is to it. So, I will hopefully be presenting more little tutorial videos. Feel free to ask a question by leaving me a comment in the comments field of this video or maybe on SoundCloud. Um, I do not respond to private messages. Um, however, I will find a way to respond through my Google Plus account or SoundCloud. Alrighty, well that's all I have for today. Everybody take care.